Hello everyone and welcome to Logan Chops Reviews. This episode we're going to be unboxing the campaign deck for Warhammer Age of Sigmar Champions trading card game. We have the campaign deck. This is the death themed campaign deck out of one of four. We also have the destruction, the chaos, and uh, order decks that we've already actually broken open ourselves and played a couple of games. We saved this one. We say you saved the best for last. This is the death one. We're going to be going ahead and busting open this campaign deck because all of them are basically, basically the same except for a, uh, a couple different... Uh, couple different cards, you know, the theme of the deck, and uh, the pieces. So let's go ahead and bust into this. I found the best way to bust open these campaign decks is actually from the bottom rather than trying to break it open from the top. So we'll go ahead, bust it open like this, boom, and everything just slides right out without having to, uh, to check out all the stuff or try to get it all through this top one. You got flaps and everything, bust it out. All right, so, let's get, so you can see a good picture right there. Set that off. Uh, I see out of camera over there. Yeah. So first thing you have your uh, you have your play sheet, which is uh, really good. Your play mat. Right, this is just one sided here, and each one of the play mats has a has a different color to it. You can see that this one is purple here in the background, and this play mat is set up. I'll move all the stuff underneath. It's set up with your your spots. If you've seen the uh, the other things on the. Uh, on the website where you have your four action slots, you've got your four slots for your champions and your four slots for your blessing for when they come out from underneath your champions during play when you complete your champion quest, which we'll go over when we look at the cards in a minute. You also have over here on the side, you have your turn structure with a little special unit tag up here that's relevant to the deck. You can see it has uh, the unit symbol, vampires, and then uh, that says vampire unit because that will be on the different quest deck. Let's see if I can get that a little closer up there for you to see. Yeah, it's got the turn structure for the game, a spot for your deck. It's got the numbers along the top and the sides to keep track of your life. And the little uh, icons for the champion quests right up there to tell you on your champions when you have to complete your quest objectives which one, uh, what they, they mean and what you have to do, as well as a little description for the highlighted cards, which we'll go over on the cards also. Or you can check out the, uh, the actual Warhammer uh, Age of Sigmar Champions, the channel, and they go over all that in the, the channel also. So go ahead and give this a quick fold up. Also, you get this uh, little quick rules insert here. Which goes over on the, it's double sided. On the front part, they go over all the descriptions, ins and outs of the cards. Having a little trouble with the fold outs as usual. It's like a map. Can't do that either. But it goes over all the rules, the little icons, and everything, and what they mean, and ins and outs. And then it has the quick rules on the back of the ins and outs of the game and how to play, which we'll be going over in future videos. So I'll set that aside. Now it comes to the exciting part. Of course, you get uh, you get your booster pack in there, which has uh, 13 cards in it. And you also get the campaign deck, the actual one, which comes with these little tokens to keep track of your life on there. You can see this one, uh, since this is the death deck, you see their little, uh, their little skulls there. So let's go ahead. Let's see if I can bust this open. It's got a little pull tab. Sometimes these don't work, so always keep a knife handy. It's off to the side. Go ahead and get rid of, oh, thank you, Gothy. Go ahead and get rid of that plastic there. You see these tokens. They have this side right here, and then they got this side over there, depending on which one you would like to use. Over there. And let's go ahead and look at uh, look at some of these cards. The first ones, you're going to have four champions in the deck, four blessings, and then 30 regular cards or action cards that are split up between units, spells, and abilities. So let's uh, let's see, we've got our four champions, we've got our four blessings, yeah, and then we've got our, our units and everything that makes up the, the rest of the deck, as well as a booster card right here that you're going to be able to scan into the app for special uh, in-game rewards uh, whenever the app becomes available, and an actual death campaign deck reference chart you can keep next to your play mat so then this for this campaign deck actually the pre-made campaign deck this has all the symbols and everything and all the t the tag words that you need to know for this deck it's not all the ones in the game but it's the ones that are relative to this deck so while you're playing and you need to refer to it they're all right there 
I, I really like that that they included that, so you don't have to keep referring back to the rules, back to the rules that all the tags were right there. So take a look at the champions here. We got two skeleton champions, a hungry vampire lord, and a bloody vampire queen. So just to, to take a look at these right here, take a look at the, the the skeleton champion. You can see it's got four spots in the in the corners. These are for their quest objectives. So they have different ones like this red shield right here means that they have to uh, play a unit because whenever you have them on the, on the table, whenever you're playing, you play cards, your action cards through the champion because that champion is deploying units. Uh, if they're a warrior, you can see it's got the warrior tag right there next to where it says champion right in the middle underneath the picture. Warriors deploy uh, the warriors deploy units. Wizards actually cast spells and the warrior wizards or wizard warriors whichever or whichever have you let's see if we have any in here yes the vampire lord right here you can see is a warrior wizard uh, my fingers all the way yeah warrior wizard can do both they can ca deploy units and cast spells so whenever you do that these will rotate because you see the symbols here let me find my skeleton champion again the symbols here aren't perfect circle circles they're what the rules called clunky they only rotate whenever something triggers them. And in this case, it's whenever you complete that quest objective. If you deploy a unit, this will rotate counterclockwise to the next one. Was that counter? No, that was clockwise, wasn't it? Yes, this way counterclockwise to the next one. You complete that quest objective, it'll rotate again. You complete that one. Which one is that one? This one is to play an ability card. You do it again, it'll go back to this one, which is deploy a unit. And then whenever you go, it, uh, finally, whenever you do that, it rotates back this way. The blessing that is face down underneath of it will come out automatically and the play flip over and its effect will, uh, its ability will take effect. So that's basically the champion. Some of them have little abilities. This one doesn't, but it does have the tag of Arisen, which is a monster tag for uh, certain creature types, Risen. And it has these numbers over here. You can see there's a red one and a green one over here on the side. The red is your health. At the beginning of the game, once you play all four of your champions out in the placement phase, your total life will be however many, or whatever it says the red symbols on your champions are. So if you've got, let's see these champions right here. I've got skeleton champions got one. I got another skeleton champions got one. I got this bloody vampire queen that says actually negative one. And this hungry vampire lord that says negative one. So they kind of cancel out. So it's going to be plus zero. And then you add 30 to whatever that total is. So uh, my starting to life total will be 30. The green symbols, or the green numbers here, numbers in green, like this one is a six here, are for deck building purposes. When you're putting together your deck, you could have champions that add up to 20. So you, uh, you don't really need to worry about that unless you're building your own deck, which we will go over in a different video. So these are the four champions that we've got for, uh, for this one. And let's go ahead and look at these blessings. Blessings, like I said, are placed face down first underneath the champions. They're placed before you place your champions. They have it where it says blessing right there. You can see it says passive. And they've also got the clunky symbols up there because these only rotate whenever something triggers it. Like this one, the carry on feast says heroic act. You'll deal the rotating damage to your opponent, which in the case of the first one is three. So you deal, when you use it, a heroic act, which is just like using a regular action, only you can only do it once per turn, you'll uh, deal three damage to your opponent. You're going to gain that much health, so you gain three health, and then you rotate this one step forward, so it would rotate, and then the next time you use a heroic act, it would be two, and then so on, so on. And then whenever a, or whenever a blessing reaches a corner that doesn't have a clunky rotating circle on it, or it rotates all the way back to the beginning, depending on if it has something on all the corners, then it turns face down on the board and isn't able to be used again. So you kind of got to see the blessings are a good thing. They can help you out, but you got to kind of see uh, what happens uh, during the game. So you'll have three different cards uh, for your action deck that make it up. You'll have units which you see are, are signified by the red border. Let's just get these out here real quick. Oh, we got some, I got some abilities in there. You'll have units. Units are basically they're, they're, they're your fighting forces in the game. You can see it has the unit tag right underneath where it says Murderous Vargais right there. It says unit. Units are deployed by warriors, as you can see by the 
by the red line around the, te the text box at the bottom, and it tells you what to do. This one has got a tag of a vampire, because that's what it is. And um, you can see it says the rotating damage to your opponent. So you see this circle is smooth. This means it happens every turn. At the beginning of your turn, all cards you have in the play that are or that have smooth ones like this will automatically rotate and do their ability. Rotate when they come to a, a corner that does not have anything like this, they'll get discarded and go to your graveyard or your discard pile, whichever one you want to call it. Now, the other ones you have are ability cards. Ability cards, basically, they come out and they do what they're supposed to, and then they go to the discard pile. Units will stay in play in the action spot on your board. Abilities come out, and abilities are only used are usable by certain types. You can see this one here says Ability Warrior. So, your warriors, which are your, your champions, are either warriors or wizard. So, your warrior will be able to use this ability. It'll go to your champion, and its ability will take effect. You see this curse strike right here. It says three damage to your opponent. You may rotate a highlighted spell or a unit one step backwards or forwards. So it'll happen, and then it'll go to discard pile. Now, what it means by highlighted is this little symbol on the bottom. You see there? So it says it says the highlighted spell or unit one step. So if it's red, it's an enemy. If it's green, it's an ally, which means it'll affect the stuff on your board. Red will affect the stuff on the other player's board. And it's going to be where you see where the dot is means that's going to be your spell or action in front of it. And then so the red one in front of that, whatever's in front of that spot, if this was here, whatever's here on the board, it will make that one rotate one step forward or backwards. So you can kind of screw with your, with your opponent with their stuff. You see, oh, I put the abilities on top of the units. So, I don't have any blue ones here to show for warriors, but let's go ahead and get to these spells. Or spells go through wizards. Sorry, not, not warriors, wizards. Blue's spells are being able to cast by a wizard. And they work just like the units do, only they count as a spell. And they're there. You can see this one, Soul Stealer, right here. Says, um, rotate and rend damage to your opponent. Rend, little tag word is there, which if we look over on our... Death card, Rend tells us is damage done with Rend, ignores damage reducing effects. So this will deal that damage. Let's see what it comes around to this spot right here for Rend damage. So it'll ignore damage uh, reducing effects to the opponent. And then you're going to gain the rotating amount of life. So you'll gain four life when this reaches that corner, if it reaches that corner and doesn't get taken out by another player. See, we got a bunch of other spells. Oh, here's, a, here's an ability. That it says, it doesn't say warrior or wizard, it says any. This means it can be used by any champion. It can be used by a wizard or warrior or a combination wizard-warrior. There's a lot of uh, any abilities in the deck because they can go in anybody's deck. Because we'll go, we'll go over deck building in a different video. So I just want to show you, again, yeah, we got the spells there. Some of the stuff that's in the game. We've already, um, we've cracked open all the decks and everything now. And all the booster packs except for... This one here, which will go ahead because you get 13 cards in the deck. Let me let me clear all this stuff up over here. Get it off the table. In your booster packs, you get 13 cards, and that includes uh, a foil card. Also, I love I love cracking packs. We got a booster box, and we we went through them pretty quick and organized all the cards and sorted and everything. Gotham's gonna take this wrapper from me because I'm rambling. So the back card in here is always a foil. You see this is a foil rallying cry. Oh, yeah, you can see that in the video right there. Foil. And then you've got your commons, your uncommons, and your rares, and possibly, I, I think I noticed some epic cards in here. Yeah, you got commons, see, commons, commons, yeah, commons, uncommons. Let's see if we get anything else good. Uncommons, rare, rare, uncommon there. But yeah, you'll get some more champions. Got this good champion right there. You'll get, oh, another champion. There's a chaos, chaos champion. That's actually, I think, card number one in the series. Yeah, one out of 278 in the series. The chaos champion right there. Got uh, a couple units, some abilities. Yeah, it's a good, it's a nice, good spread. We got a lot of good stuff in ours. So we're actually going to take everything that we have. Actually, hand me that box, Gothi. Let me show you. Uh, this is, yeah. We got a lot of cards here all organized. We're going to be taking them and we're going to be doing a deck building video. So make sure you stay tuned for when we release that one. And then a little bit of gameplay and review video. So stay tuned. Thank you for tuning in to Logan Chops Reviews for our unboxing. Happy gaming. We'll see you next time.